my town. Is it? Mm. What do you want me to do about it? Give it back. What now? Yeah, right now. Mm. It's two days since I've seen Claire. Oh, well, there's Joe, Mr. Bloody Sunshine, with his feet well under the table and pins. That record stuck again, Trev. Hey, I've got a right to wins, me. If it wasn't for Joe, Claire wouldn't be running round after Nick, and I wouldn't be waking up to your bloody ugly mug every morning. Give it a rest, man, please. I'll give it a rest when everything's back to normal between me and Claire, and Claire and Nick, and Joe's apologised. No, don't hold your breath. Take it like I'm coming. Oh, morning, darling. Morning, Sam. Did you sleep well? Heard some noises in the night. Oh. Probably cats. Sounded more like shagging to me. But hey! Listen, Einstein, for a three man team, it is three days' work, or it's four maximum. What happened to the title contract? Let me deal with the contract. You just keep busy slapping on paint. Did he pull it? I said I'll deal with Jim Taylor. What bloody hell are you doing here? What was that about contracts? Since your boyfriend and his family stitched me up, people have started to take their business elsewhere. Well, is there anything I can do? Can I help? No, no, no. no I don't need any more knives in my back. No. You go back to your new fella. The most of him while he's still in one piece. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Nick! Nick! Good morning. Good morning. Did that noise keep you up last night? Terrible racket. Mm. Cats, probably. Good Oh, Carl from Lizzie. Mm. To be loved by you, baby. I tell baby. Oh, you did. Uncle Alan's coming today, and we need this place looking a little less like the black hole of Calcutta. Come on, four hands good, two hands bad. Weeks of you being happy it's starting to get quite scary. Why shouldn't I be happy, eh? Sun shining, birds are singing. Actually, it looks like it's gonna. Oh. Not from where I'm standing. How's Claire? I'd prefer not to discuss Claire with you. Just interesting. No, you're not. You don't even feel bad about what happened. Why should I? Because it's your fault that she's chasing after Nick. Mm-hmm. His business is in trouble because we conned you conned him out of serious money. No. Oh. Well, I feel guilty enough about it. She feels twice as guilty as me. And the only person who should feel really, really guilty about it is you. Then you couldn't give a toss. Nick sent you to prison, Trevor. He deserves everything he gets. But Claire doesn't. I'm worried about her. She said he was so angry with her the other day. If you're that worried about her, go and see her. I won't be long. Hey! Come back! When Alan gets back here, I want this place looking like an ant's nest. I want it busy, busy, busy! Did 
you think Uncle Alan will be impressed? Does Barbara Carlin wear slap? past level 12. Wait, you'd be better off channeling your energies into getting Mum back. I think I've got more chance with the ice cream of Nidania. Oh, pull yourself together, Dad. I don't want Mum coming round and finding you like this. And down it all fades to a speck of light until eventually nothing. <laughs> No milk. I'll go get some and you get cooking, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Dad. Right, good. This is the uh, main flat. It'll have a spiral staircase that goes to the uh, mezzanine floor and uh, that leads to a roof garden. And the idea behind that design, it was... Don't the waste the sales funnel on me, Joe. Save it for the buyers. You do realise you're heading towards your penalty clause. That flat will be cracking. Yeah, but at the moment it's a half-finished flat in a half-finished building surrounded by scrubland. Mm -hmm. But this flat's cracking though, isn't it? Eh? Look, what can I say? Well, you can say, don't worry, Uncle Alan, all the flats and the landscaping will be finished at the end of the week, like it says in our contract. The flats are on the market for how much? 160 for the main flat and 140 for the other two. You should be starting to recoup by now. We've done our best. Don't make me laugh. The estate agent hasn't found it easy to generate interest. Yeah, well, where's the advertising? Well, the estate agent said... The estate agents are vermin. You don't listen to them. There should be audience up here. Adverts in local papers. These flats should be papered all over Brighton. It's all very well getting a deep gloss finish and polished chrome fittings, but it means bugger all if no one knows they're up for sale. I'll go and talk to the estate agent. No! I'll go and talk to him. You get your fingers out here. From now on, every day you're leaking money, and that money is going to come out of your bonus and your profit. So think about it. Sorry, I was... I had to do something. God forbid that work should interfere with your social life, Trevor. Right, you heard the man! Come on, let's get back to work. One last big push, come on. Doing a good job. They're sitting on a bloody gold mine. Calm down, Alan. You know what happens when you get overexcited? It ends up being no fun for anyone. Thank <laughs> you. 
accident. He's nearly burnt the house down. Who has? Silly sod's left a pan on the stove. It's burnt all the way up the wall and ceiling. I think he might have done it on purpose. Please, you have to help me. Why would I want to help Jeff anyway? He still owes us loads of money from the last job. Please. Thank you, Bax. Becky reckons that Jeff's nearly burnt the house down. We need help. Well, let's have a look. It's just another trick, man. Away. Trevor, what brings you here? You see what I mean? You burn the kitchen down, you stupid git. Oh my god. Now he reacts. Shit. People's <laughs> um, gonna bloody kill me. They'll fix it as long as you promise to pay them what you owe. Don't worry about that. I promise I'll pay it, Ernie. Get it sorted before Pippa comes around. I'll see he sticks to it. So, what kind of property were you interested in? Any chance of talking to you privately? Uh, Max, go and get us a sandwich, will you? Usual. So, so, Purvis and Purvis. Oh, I thought I recognised the accent. Not oh, very perceptive. I've been in the building trade for over 30 years, Mr. Boycott. Oh, please, call me Russell. And I think I know a prime property when I see one. And I believe that the Purvis and Purvis school project is a prime property. Well, with all due respect. Shut up. Let me finish. Which means one of two things. Either you're not trying because you've got your eye on the place yourself. Oh, now that'd be illegal, wouldn't it? Or someone has bought you. I beg your pardon? I'd plumb for number two. Now we could spend the next half hour while you play indignant and deny everything. But I think we all know I've hit the nail on the head. I'm not here to ruin you, Russell. I'm here to up the ante. Whatever you're getting paid, I'll better it. A speechless estate agent. Rare as rocky no shit. What do you want me to do? Listen, no. I don't blame you for not believing me. No, I should have done. I'm sorry. No, I'm not really sorry. Well, I guess we can both be sorry. Listen, if you ever want to go out again... I don't think so. No, right. Yeah! Oh, no. What the...? Aye, it tends to make a bit of a mess when you said fight your breakfast. Where's Jeff? He's in the conservatory. Is he all right? Well, that's the million dollar question. Did I hear Pippa? I should know a guy forks. Can you get me some seal and some tile grout? Yeah. For goodness sake, Jeff, I can't leave you alone for a minute. It was an accident. You're a bloody accident, Jeff. What's the damage, Trevor? It's all superficial. Cosmetic, mainly. But only redecorating. Unless you like the scorched look. What were you doing? Pruning. Where are you going? I'm going to check on some outlets for my work. Well, someone's got to keep the money coming in, Jeff. Well, could I tag along? Oh, you'd be a great advert for fun novelty items, wouldn't you? Depressed and smelling of burnt bacon. Besides, Jeff, this is my project. Right. Get it sorted, will you? She still hates me. I don't know that it's hate. Well, what is it then? Well, I'd say it was more indifference. My God. Hey! Oh, 
I'm sorry, I was just hoping to see some work being done, but uh, yard's empty. No, it's all right, we're over at Jeffsy's Barbecue, his kitchen, man. Oh, I see. What's that got to do with us? I always promised to pay back the money he owes us if we sort it out for him. Plus the price of the repair job. I reckon, yeah. Okay. But quick, mind. I want you back here. Schnell. Claire! Can I help you? Yeah, you turn down the brightness for a start. Why does a little bit of happiness make people so nervous? Maybe I'm not used to it. Well, you're saying that my natural disposition is not one of unfettered joy? You're a moody bugger, yeah. Look, have you seen Nick? No. Are oh, you lost him? Yes. Ah, oh, what a shame. I don't think you've come here, Claire. Unless he doesn't know when he's beaten. Where's Trevor? He's over at Jeff's. Do us a favour. Talk to the miserable get, please. I'd love to, but I've got to find Nick. He misses you, Claire. Just tell him to watch out for Nick. He's on the warpath. You, Diego King. Wouldn't you get a free pair of sunglasses with every job? What did you say? What did you say, you smart ass shorty dick? Oh, oh. Oh. You think you're hard? You come and have a go! Come on! Oh, what is it? When the going gets tough, the Geordies cack the panties! Is that what it is? I don't have a clue what to do with it. I'll just get one of them books, you know. Um, I'll in Titchmarsh. You know, sketch something out, you'll be fine. You can't just chuck down a path and some plants and that's it. You know, whatever you do, it'll be great. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. Will it? And then we'll have finally finished this place. Start thinking about the next one. All we need is the readies. Sounds like you've got it all planned out. Just thinking about the possibilities, Viv. Your pervisa. Right, right. We expect you then. Yeah. What is it? Now oh, we've got people coming to view in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uncle, Uncle Alan. Alan. Can you turn that down, please? It's an improvement, and I'm sat there like a vegetable. He's gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Will you turn that music down? Get lost! Do you think we should go? I miss on the phone. What? Turn it down, please. I'd like you to help drown you out. I'm warning you. Me drill won't work now. Well, then it fits in with everything else in this house, doesn't it? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Trying to get some peace and quiet. Look at yourself. You're a bloody mess. Don't you swear at me. You're a loser, Dad. A total loser. It's no wonder Mum left you. You know nothing about it. Everybody hates you. I'm ashamed to have you as a dad. No, I think we should go. Hang on. Jeff? I'm sure she didn't mean it. You are not a loser. You are certainly not hated. I mean, you know, I, I know sometimes you're not the easiest man. You... Who is? <laughs> but. Hit. Oh, Trevor. Come on, you've got to look on the bright side. You've got your work. You got your health. I haven't worked for two months. Well, you've got your. Hey, 
I mean, you're not exactly ill. Physically. Trevor! I have never seen a man so down the dumps. Yeah, you didn't help by handing him a shovel. I'm trying to cheer him up. Look, if I ever end up like that, don't under any circumstances try and cheer me up, right? Come on. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Purvis. I'll be in touch. Did they like it? I think they're going to want to move fast on this one. I'll get them back to the office and give you a tinkle. What do you think? I think it looks good. Mm, I think it looks very good. Uncle Alan. I don't know what you said to your state agent. You just have to know how to deal with these people. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed, eh? Yeah. Everything crossed. You look pleased with yourself? I'm always pleased with myself. Now, where were we? Sam, lunch! OK. Mm. We make a pretty good team, don't you think? Mm. Casey and Purvis? Oh, Purvis and Casey. Why? That's more the ring. Oh, Casey and Purvis. All oh, your building needs cater for. Yep. Specialists in bloody awful jobs that nobody would touch with a barge ball. Hey, hey, hey! Use a plate. So if you and Mum are going to work together, does that mean you're going to have to get married? What gave you that idea? You and Dad work together first. Joe and I won't have to get married now. Unless you want. Yep. Russell. They have. Just one second. They're the maiden offer on all three flats. I'm back. Yeah, but that's way below the asking price for us. It's as far as they're prepared to go. You tell them no, then. I'll get back to you. What, what, what? <sighs> They've offered 340 for the loss. <laughs> what do we do now? Now, we wait. Push it up to 350. If I could just give you some advice about Joe Purvis. No, no, right, okay. Whatever you say. How much? 350. Nah, won't be breaking even, Russell. Try again, goodbye. Do you think they'll come back? He'll come back. Okay, I see you earlier, and I was told you were out showing clients around a certain school project. Ah, ah. I had no choice, Nick. Yeah, well, I've got no choice then to break your scrawny little neck. Nick, you're on your way out, mate. You what? If you don't mind, I've got an important call to make. Oh, you're asking me to leave? Yeah, before I call the police. It's still not biting. 360. And that's your ceiling, yeah? And we throw in the letter now? We'll do. Go on. Mr. Purvis. Mm hmm. It hasn't been easy, but I've managed to get a better offer out of them. Mm hmm. How much better? 360. But they've insisted on a binding letter. I'll get back to you. What do they offer now? 360. That's their final offer. We need at least 400 to have any hope of buying the next one. I know. 
I need to speak to Alan. Why? Because in the end, he has the right to say yay or nay. This is an offer on all three bloody flats. Yeah, it's a crap offer. It's not crap. It's just not what you were hoping for. We put everything into this place and get something out of it. We're going to get nothing out of this deal. Hey, you're not going to lose anything either. Take the offer, sign the letter and let's all have a drink. Couldn't we just accept the offer and then if something better comes along, take that? If you don't sign this letter, they won't do the deal. The letter simply states that you've entered into an agreement with the purchasers. But once me and Trev sign it, there's no going back, is there? Well, that's the idea. No. But it'll protect you too. You have to do it, lad. You need the capital to pay back my loan. We're selling below the asking price, Uncle Alan. You have to start moving forward. Even if it's on our hands and knees? What do you think, Trev? I think it's a bloody disaster. There's been so little interest in the property. Maybe we should just cut our losses and sell. Very wise, Trevor. Well, they are taking all three flats. Under the circumstances, it's a very good offer, boys. Well, it doesn't feel like it. Sign on the dotted line and then we can all meet up later for a celebratory drink at my hotel. It's a choice between this offer and possibly losing everything. Then where will your future plans be? Eh? See you later. See you later. Bye. So what's happened? Have we sold the place? Aye. Yeah, but don't go booking any Caribbean holidays. So. Very sorry. Looks like the end of Purvis and Casey. Purvis and Casey? Yeah, well, we were thinking of diversifying. We're going to set up a new company. Purvis and Casey? It'll still be the same, Trevor. Well, no, it won't. It'll be Purvis and Casey. Don't be a silly sod. You're not being shoved out. So, uh, how long has this been under discussion? Uh, we just thought about it today. Oh, just like that? Yeah, just like that. Don't sulk. I'm not sulking. Yes, you are. Well, listen, as soon as you two have decided my future, you will let me know about it, won't you? Where are you going? <laughs> like it matters to you. Well, we handled that really well, didn't we? <clears throat> you didn't get the price you wanted for the place, then? Look. We had no choice but to take it, all right? I mean, the interest in this place being so piss poor, the only one to see beside those two was Nick Bloody Costello. I seen him this morning. He chased the van right up the road, man. He's off his head. He's not the only one. Yeah, he chased us from Russell's estate agents right up to the Crown. He's ratched, man, I tell you. You saw Nick Costello at the estate agents? Hi, this man. He was coming out when I was going past. What? Viv? What's this? It's your state agent. Russell Warby Bank. Tell me you're interested in a modern conversion of an old property, all right? A luxury flat within 10 minutes of Santa Brighton. Why should I want that? We'd just be. Oh, no, we just do it. Hello? I wonder if you can help me. Yeah, I'm looking for a property in the Brighton area within three or four miles of the centre. Ideally a modern conversion in an old property. Studio flat, preferably. Really? Nothing? Nothing like that come in over the last few weeks? No, I'd rather not leave my number. Thanks, bye. What's going on? Nick Bloody Costello's What's Going On. It's taken me all day to pin you down. Yeah, I'm a very busy man. It's not what I've been hearing. This place is collapsing around your ears. Well, let it collapse! Well, better still, let them have it. Let the purposes have it all. Let them take the shirt off my bloody back while they're at it. 
But all I pray is that I get one last shot at them, one more chance to kick them where it hurts. God, I would like to tear their hearts from out their chest with my bare hands. I would like to squeeze their necks so tight till their eyes pop out their heads. Oh my God. Yeah, well, it's how I feel, sweetheart. I'll, I'll just be a minute. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Claire. What's your excuse? Ah, I just fancied a chat with Nick. Nick? Hey, hey. Wind your neck in. Trevor, what the... Joe, I thought I told you... I had to see you. What, well, did you have to bring him with you? He didn't. I'm here to see Nick. Is he in? It's not a good time. Why? Working on who to... Shut next, is he? Bloody hell, you got a nerve coming here. Nick, calm down. Yes, calm down, Nick. You're bloody trespassing. Nothing to what you've been up to, is it? What are you bloody talking about? I'm on your little scam with your estate agent, Nick. It's very clever. Keeps the flats off the market, buys them up cheap, sells them on at a profit. Screws us all in one go. Very clever. That binding letter? Binding letter. Isn't worth the paper it's printed on. What binding letter? Oh my god, that is brilliant. <laughs> what, and you signed it? <laughs> and you never saw it coming? <laughs> and the joke is? You are, you stupid Geordie tosser. You think I've got the money to buy your bloody flats? Do you do any other impressions apart from goldfish? <laughs> god, I thought I was a devious bastard, but this takes the bloody biscuit. <laughs> You want to let me in on the joke? No chance! You'll cotton on eventually. In the meantime, I want to see you suffer. I want to see you squirm like a worm on a hook, you, you pitiful Geordie shite! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he's talking about? No idea. Yeah. Do you want to lift back, Trev? I want to talk to Claire. See yourself! Brothers, eh? <laughs> I missed you. Me too. <laughs> <sighs> This is so peaceful. No brothers to bother us. I love being here with you. Oh, I've missed you. And I love you, Claire. I love you too, Trevor. Hey, I've just had a thought. No, it's daft. What? Tell me. It's mad. What is it? Well, is there any chance? Um, well, do you think there's a chance that, that you... What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? I don't know. Am I? I, mean, I think we should. Would you? Would you marry me? You're right, it's stupid. No, no. <laughs> it's not stupid at all. So is that a yes? What do you think? Oh, huh. You gonna tell Uncle Alan about this? Nope, I'm gonna tell Russell. He's the one with the answers. Promise me you won't go in like a bull in a china shop. Hey, come on, you know me. You promise? I promise. Ah, oh, there you are! Come on, come on, come on! Um, what do you have, Viv? Oh, um, a white wine. Thanks. Uh, Joe? Beer. Well, I hope you're a bit more chuffed than this lot, Viv. Not really. Well, as I said them earlier, sometimes breaking even is an achievement. That's business. Bottoms up. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm. One of the workers. What do you have, Simon? Are you pen? Aye. I'll have a crate of brown ale, please, man. 
Give him a bottle. Yeah, I've been thinking. Oh, you should leave that to me, son. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody buy the flats up cheap and sell them on the future? You know, make a nice little sum of money with very little effort. Too risky. There's no guarantee of making the money back. I mean, the flats have taken so long to shift as there is. I mean, they're hardly hot, are they, Russell? Well, it hasn't been easy getting people interested, no. But what if there was a local conspiracy? Hmm? You'll be having me looking out for men in big hats with Italian accents next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, this is a celebration. Here's to success, eh? Success. Even so, eh? Joe, relax. Enjoy the evenings. If there are legitimate worries, we'll work them out tomorrow, all right? You have to learn to mark your successes. Nice. Oh, just a little thing I rustled up. And I pictured you with a sad microwave meal for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Delia Smith's got nothing to worry about then. <laughs> um, aren't you going to ask me how I got on today? How did you get on? Two shops want to sell my picture frames. Another one wants to take the papier-mâché. Not only that, but they've placed an order for as many as I can make. That's good. Good? It's bloody amazing. You know, my dinner's getting cold. You could show a bit more enthusiasm, Jeff. Mm. You really are a miserable sod sometimes. No, I'm, I'm glad it's all working out for you, but my life is falling apart and I'm finding it increasingly difficult to work out the enthusiasm to get out of my bloody chair, let alone the energy required to massage your bloody artistic ego. All right! Hmm. Yeah. You ever fancy taking your talents a little further afield, said to Newcastle? Well, I'm very flattered, but... Don't be. I only acknowledge talent, and you are talented. Well, thank you, Mr. Purvis. Yeah, call me Alan. Alan. Right, who's for another drink? Me? No, don't hold back. I think I'm going to be sick. Well, you should appreciate what you've got before it's tempted away. Fully appreciate what I've got. That's why you want us to go into business. Yeah, please. I'll come round to the office. Are you serious about Purvis and Casey? Deadly. What about the money? We'll find it. Get another loan up, Alan. Trevor! What are you drinking? Um, I'll have a pint, please. Didn't think you'd come. I nearly didn't. Mm. What have you been doing? Well, can't you tell a look at that big dopey grin on his face, man? Mm. You know what? He's got ah, I've got some news for you. What, you forgiven me and you want to come in with Purvis and Casey? <laughs> no. Just a sec, try to need the loop. Oh, uh, now that you mention it, I'm busting. So, what's your news, Trevor? Little keep. How much is Costello paying you? What are you talking about? I haven't had a patience, Russell. All right, all right. He can be 200 quid with another 100 to follow. You're cheap. Have I financial problems with me, own, OK? And a nice double commission on top of that. 2% for selling them, 2% for selling them on again. Cool 15 grand. And you were using Nick's money to keep them off the market, right? <laughs> Who's your rope in as buyer? I can't tell you that. No, you, you don't start talking. Me and him's gonna be hired to do a redecorating job on you. Don't hit me again, please. I can't stand pain. 
Just tell me his name. He didn't rope anyone in. It was your uncle. He paid me more to keep buyers away from the place until he bought it off you cheap. The couple were a front. Friends of mine. Most builders don't appreciate that this business has little to do with bricks and mortar. It's all about commerce, buying and selling. You piece of shit. What? How do you live with yourself, eh? Joe? What are you doing? It's him. He's the buyer. He's the one who shafted us over the flats. How do you know? We just had a little chat with our friendly estate agent. You shouldn't believe everything you're told. No, 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 no. You're not going to worm your way out of this one. I have no intention of trying. Is it your offer on the flats? It's my money that's been sunk into this project. This is the only way I can see of recouping it. You greedy, worthless prick. How many things, Joe? But worthless isn't one of them. We are supposed to be family men! There are two sides to our family, son. The workers and grafters who pull their weight and build something, that's me. And then there's the shiftless, blood-sucking parasites who want everything laid out on a plate for them. That's you! No. Ah, 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 what are you going to do, eh? Take a punch at me? Come on, then! Oh, Come on, get it over with! Me. You are a lying, vicious bastard! You think I was going to leave you in charge of this project? Everything you touch turns to crap! At least this way, one of us gets something out of all the hard work. Left to you, it all be up shit, Craig! That's not fair! It's in his jeans, love. Oh, he struts about as if he knows what he's doing. But he knows bugger all! He's no builder and he's no businessman. All he has is front. He was like it as a snot-nosed little kid and he's like it now. All mouth and no trousers. I'm a good enough builder to have built something you couldn't wait to get your hands on. School has nothing to do with you, son. She's the talent. She tells you where to put the bricks and you put them there. No! You don't want to waste any more time with him, love. Your way is up, his is down. He's a nothing. A big, mouthy nothing, just like his bloody father! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> You want to think about coming to work for me, love? He's got nothing to offer you and that lad of yours. He talks about family, but he doesn't have the first idea. He already has a little less of his own he never sees. He uses people, chews them up and then spits them out when the flavour's gone. Walk away. Joe. No, you stay here. I'll look after him and you, you never speak about our dad like that again. Simon, let them sort us. This isn't that. Leave it! Hey, he'd no right to say those things, not in front of other people. If he wants the flats, he's gonna have to put the work in. Ah, oh, don't be an idiot. If we can't have it, he's not gonna get it. Well intact. Look, you'll have to pay for any damage that's done, and then Alan will one hands down, won't he? Joe. Joe! It's family, Trevor. If you can't trust family, who can you trust? Alan's only interested in Alan, you know that. How could he do it? I don't know, but he has, and we have to deal with it sensibly. So what do you suggest we do then, Trev? Well, we're sure that we're better than he is. We finish the work and we just take what we can. Always the voice of bloody reason. Well, somebody has to be. Do you know... Do you know you're the only one I can trust, Trev? Yeah, you've always been there for me. You always will be, no matter what happens. Actually. No, no, you're right. We're gonna finish this job and then we're out of here, yeah? I mean, we have done such a bloody good job. Oh, Joe, listen, um... Well, I need to... Jeff? Don't come near me or I'll jump! I mean it! I, I will jump! I've got nothing to lose! A perfect end to a perfect day. Hello, Pippa. Yes. Joe Purvis here. Sorry to bother you. Jeff! Oh, man, what's all this about? 
Oh, nothing. Just lost my wife, my family, my job, and my future. <laughs> and you think that's worth chucking yourself off the roof for? I don't know. I'm still considering that one. Uh, well, don't take too long. We've got things to do. Sure. But you want to be stuck up here while he makes his mind up? He's really upset. Who is in Trevor? Hey? You callous bastard. It's a one-story drop, Jeff. What exactly are you saying? I'm saying that is a cry for help. It really doesn't get above a polite request. <laughs> so I'm making your balls up of that too? You said it. Oh, you don't know how lucky you are. Every day you wake up and you know exactly what you have to do. And when you finish, there it is, a wall, a building something to show for all your work. Yeah, until some bugger comes along and takes it from under you. I envy you. <laughs> Mine's a business for hungry young sharks. No one's interested in a washed up old haddock like me. <laughs> for goodness sake. Jeff! Dad, what are you doing? Well, by the looks of things, he's obviously debating whether to go for the full body twist with pike or the swallow dive and tuck. Look, just come down and go home. I don't want you here. Stop being a prat, Dad. Oh, and you can bugger off as well after all that crap you put me through. Oh, don't start having a good hurt. Huh? Well, tell him to go away. Huh? Do you have life insurance? Yes, why? Well, she's here to make sure when they scrape you off the deck, it's safe to put a claim in. She could be here because she cares about me. No one cares, Jeff. Now, the sooner you realise that, the happier you're going to be. That's a great way to talk to someone who's feeling suicidal. Just tell it like it is! Look, rely on no one! Well, not you, Trevor, not you. You'll not let me down. No? No. You and me? We're a team. We're always going to be together, no matter what. Listen, I uh, tried to tell you earlier. I proposed to Claire today. What? I asked Claire to marry me. Though, of course, I'm really sorry, Trev. I had no idea. I asked Claire to marry me. She said yes. We're getting wed. He's a bloody daft man. You can't marry her. Why not? Because it's not right. That's not what you want. It's exactly what I want. Don't be an idiot. I need you. What for? I thought you were going off to set up Purvis and bloody Casey. It was all Viv's ideas. I'm bollocks. When you set up Nick and then ripped him off behind my back, did you think how that might affect Claire and me? No. no. That was different. Trev, this is marriage. It's what we want. You're making a big mistake. You just can't bear the fact that little brother doesn't need you anymore. You will always need me. I get you off my back, and Claire gets Nick off hers. Oh! Well, I'm glad you're marrying for the right reasons, Trev. I thought you were supposed to be talking me down. Will you shut up! I'm going to get my home back, and then I'm out of here, Trev, with or without you. Typical. Another job, half finished. Uh -uh. I'm finishing this. But once the last petunia's planted, I'm off. You'd better give the garden some thought. It's the setting for the whole building. You give it some thought, Jeff. So as usual, Joe does what he likes, and to hell with the lot of you. Uh, now, you see, I've never done what I want. You see, that's the whole bloody point. See, I look after you, I look after Simon. I've always been there for you. See, family always came first. Bollocks. And what do I get in return? Nothing but bollocks! Well, from now on, it's just me. Right? It's a Purvis Singular. See? Just Joe! The hell with a lot of you! I told you. You could take the architectural features from the building itself and create a series of arches fanning from the gate to the front door, welcoming people in. 
Joe. No, Viv. Alan's right. No, I've got nothing to offer you, or Sam. No, I've got nothing to offer anybody. Okay.